Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today I am going to show you how I am going to make a master cylinder bleeder kit and what you're going to need for this is a vinyl hose right here and I'm using a 316 you're going to need a pair of scissors hopefully better than these I can't find my scissors these are nice and rusty but I'm hoping that it'll do the job to coat to cut the holes, you're gonna need a wire brush, you're gonna need some brake cleaner, you are going to need sandpaper, I have 120 grit, this is the only one I have, and what I'm using, this right here, this is gonna be like the connector for the, um, for the master cylinder right here, what is these right here, these two things are the brake fluid line part of it what we did we cut them um and what we did we sand it down nice and neat because it's going to be sharp when you cut it and when you cut it you don't want it to stay sharp because it's going to break the vinyl holes right here so what you do is you sand out sand it down nice and neat and what i'm also going to continue sanding this because it has like kind of paint and I don't want that paint, even though that is nice and tight, but I don't want to take the chance that it goes in there. I'm also going to use brake cleaner to clean the threads right here with this wire brush. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'll be right back. See, all I'm doing is just sanding the dot, and you can see that paint coming off. So you just want to take it out you don't have to be perfect but you want to do the best you can taking out that that paint out of there so I already did one and all you want to do is just clean it Now that you have finished cleaning it, push them in. Now you're going to take your vinyl, your hose. We're going to try to make it as even as possible. Hoping the scissors work. Hey, they did work. You want to make it look nice and neat right in there. What you want to do? Take your master cylinder and all you want to do is put them right in there. And you want to screw them in there nice and tight. Then you're going to take the tubes and you're just going to push them right in. Goes one. There goes two. So all you're going to do when you're bleeding it, all you're going to do, you're going to take your hose, fill it up with blake fluid, put it in there, make sure you have something to tie it up in there, and all you have to do is just push it right in here with a screwdriver and you start bleeding your line right there and once you stop you start on um, you finish bleeding the line what you want to do is because you got to cover this when you're going to put it back in the car and i thought of something i'll show you right now what i thought of so once you take it out that you have bled it, now you need something here because you have to install it right back in the car. So if you leave it open like this, exposed like this, what's going to happen is that it's going to start leaking. So I found me some, some bowls. These are M10, M10-1. 
And all you do is you just take them both, the M10, you put it in there, you take the other one, put it in, you can probably find a little smaller than this, like this short, but this is the only one I found. And you screw them in there. So now when you're installing it, the brake fluid doesn't start, doesn't start coming out while you um putting it back, installing it back in the car. So this is how I made my own master cylinder bleeder kit. So once again, this is now mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if nonmechanic can do it, you can do it. Later.